perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hi guys, my name is Celia and today I'm going to show you how to make these DIY Game of Thrones crafts. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is pick a color that's right for you. Then you're going to put your popcorn box stencil on top of the piece of paper. You're then going to trace it out. Be sure to mark where the bends are in the, in the paper. So I had a problem finding the right side stencil for me. So what I did was printed one out from Pinterest and then I traced it to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so next you're going to want to take your pair of scissors and you are going to start cutting out your stencil. Okay guys, the next thing you're going to want to do after you cut out your stencil is take your ruler and place it on the line in the middle of your paper. This ensures that when you push the paper over the ruler, it creates a perfect bend for you. Okay, now you're going to want to bend all of the pieces together and make sure you tape the bottom. This is going to make sure that your popcorn box stands straight up. Also, don't forget to tape the inside of your popcorn box. Okay, for the next part, you're going to want to take something that's circular on the bottom so you can trace a perfect circle. This circle is going to be used for your Game of Thrones symbol of whichever house you choose. So now that you have your perfect circle, you're going to want to look up what house symbol you want to use. For this design, I chose House Tully, which is a fish and a couple of waves. You also don't have to draw it yourself. You can print a picture out and then you can tape it on. For this symbol, I just taped it on, but for some of the other boxes, I drew it on the box or I put the tape behind the picture so you can't see. Okay, for the next part, you're going to want to look up the Game of Thrones font. After that, you're just going to write House of Blank. Whatever house you chose, that's what you will write. So that is my completed popcorn box. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. Okay, next is a head on a stick. Now this is supposed to be Ned Stark, but you can do whatever you want and whoever you want. Now I'm going to list all of the ingredients that you're going to need below, but here you can just see what I used. For this part, you're just going to follow the cake box's directions and you're going to put everything they say to into the cake box. So since I had the cake pop maker, all I did was preheat it and put some cooking spray on it. Next, I'm going to fill each hole with the cake mix. So after all of the cake mix is in it, I'm going to flip it upside down and I'm going to wait two minutes. After those two minutes are up, I'm going to gently take them out with the fork they gave me. After they're all set, in the container, I'm just going to put them in the fridge for around 15 minutes so they can cool off. Okay, so the next step I did not film was I took the cake pop stick, I dipped it in the melted chocolate, and then I put it back into the cake pop. Then I put it back into the fridge for 15 minutes so they can cool off. 
Now what you're seeing here is me dipping the cake pops into the white chocolate. Now after the white chocolate cooled off in the refrigerator for 15 minutes, I took them back out and melted the milk chocolate. I then placed the milk chocolate around the head and I made them look like faces. I also left some of the red velvet cake that was underneath showing so it looked like they got hit in the head. So this is my finished result. I am actually very happy with how they turned out and they actually tasted very good. Okay, so the last project I have for you guys is the battlefield cake. And to do this, all you're going to do is take all of the leftover cake mix that you have and put it into a cake pan. I actually did the cake while the cake pops were being made just to save time. Once all the cake mix is in the pan, you're just going to want to put it in the oven and keep track of it. After it's all done and cooled off, what you're going to want to do is let the white chocolate cool down a bit and just smear it all over the top of your cake. This is not supposed to be perfect, so make it as messy as possible. Thank you guys for watching this video and please like and comment if you tried any of this out or want to try any of this out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Bye! Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys. I am also an ambassador for um, Soul Fairy, and what that is, is it's a monthly subscription box for sunglasses. So I believe you get one pair for $12.99 a month. Um, I can get you guys 20% off of your first box, so I will leave that in the description.